Hey guys, Shelby Burton here. Thank you so much for joining my YouTube channel. I'm super excited for this episode because I am going to share with you something that I really dislike, but we all need. So stay tuned. All right, so today, or tonight, depending on when you're watching this, we are talking about water. Yes, the big H2O. Now we all love it, we all love showering it, we love swimming in it, we love water fights, we love squirt guns, well, some of us maybe <laughs> love water balloons, but here's the thing, we all don't drink enough water. I can raise my hand to that because I hate the taste of normal water. I know it sounds crazy, right? But I do, I hate the taste of normal water and I know that you're supposed to drink a lot of it because number one, it's healthy. Number two, our bodies are made up of mostly water. So we function off of water. Our brains also need the water. We need that water to survive. Plus it makes all of our skin and our hair and our body and it flushes all the toxins out of us. It just makes everything glow and be all pretty, right? So. When I hear people say, oh, I drink tons of water, that's usually when I say, oh yeah, well how much? And they say, eh, I usually drink about, you know, 20 to 40 ounces of water or maybe, you know, a few glasses. And I go, okay, well that's not enough, people, not enough. So the normal eight glasses of eight ounces of water that is recommended for the average, let's say adult person, I'm gonna say teen and up, um, is usually not enough. And I'm gonna tell you that and this is why. Because number one, for most of us, we sweat, so you're losing water there. And especially for us that work out every day or work in a hot environment and you're sweating, you're losing all that water. So you need to replenish it with even more than what your body normally needs, which is the normal eight ounces, eight glasses. Um, so you need a little bit more. Um, for those of us that just sweat, by just looking at somebody working out, same thing. All right, so you need to replenish that. Um, you also need to replenish your salt when you sweat because if you don't realize it, but you're also um, sweating out salt and water at the same time. So that is huge, 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 huge. Now, obviously, if your body is full of toxins and it's trying to get rid of those toxins and it doesn't matter what you're running to the bathroom for, one or two, <laughs> um, I'll be PG in this video, uh, you're losing water there too. So you need to replenish yourself. Now obviously you guys have heard the whole, well you can drown from drinking so much water, right? Okay, yes, so seriously, if I took a big gallon jug and I made you chug, 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 chug for hours and hours and hours and hours, your tummy is going to expand and it's not gonna be able to take any more and you're end up gonna drown to death, yes. But really, is it really gonna happen? No. All right, let's be realistic, no. Number one, we're not that silly. I would use the other S word, but that's not good talk. So we're not going to do that to ourselves. You don't need to worry about drinking too much water. Your body will release what it doesn't need. And in fact, that's what you want it to do because that's how it flushes your toxins out. You wanna have enough water that it just continually is flowing like a river. So yes, I know a lot of people say, well, I work in a job where I can't go to the bathroom a lot or it's a pain to go to the bathroom. Well, I'm sorry, suck it up. And I mean it, suck up your water, drink it, drink it, drink it. And then go to the bathroom because that's what our bodies are made to do. I can't even tell you how many times I've had to pull over on the side of the road and go to the bathroom real fast. But you know what? I know that I need the water and I know I need to drink it. Now, as you all know, I don't like the regular taste of water. So, you know, I've used the whole sugary packets. I've used the sugary, all chemical squirts just to get my water down. And you guys all know that I love my ketones. And this is the one way I'm gonna teach you a little trick. This is what I do all the time. 
and it gets me to at least drink two extra glasses of water a day with flavoring because it's so good. So in the morning, I will fill my cup up with water and ice and I'll put my ketones in it. And then when I wait till about, mm, it gets to about here, there's still flavoring in there. And then what I'll do is I'll fill it back up again and it still tastes a little bit like my ketones, depending on what flavor I have. Maybe it's raspberry lemonade, maybe it's the keto jellies, which yes, to me tastes like you take a whole big bag of jelly beans and you put it in your mouth, it's really good. Or maybe it was something a little bit more tart like the splash or, you know, there's so many different things like the lemon lime is one of my favorite. So that's what I do. I put it in here and then I drink it. So I can usually get three cups full and this is 25 ounces of water in this cup. My other jug is 32. So I can usually get about two of my 32 or three of my 25 with extra flavoring in it. And then what happens is when that flavoring is gone, it's about time to then have my other dose of ketones. So again, I can pick a brand new flavor. I can have the same flavor I had this morning, but I'll do the same thing. I'll fill it up with ice and water. I'll drink it down to about here and then I'll refill it again and I'll continue to refill it throughout the day and it still has a really good flavor to it. It's not plain old water. So, mm, mm -hmm. so you can try that. You know, put your ketones in it, drink it throughout the day. Now I'm not saying put your ketones in it and then sip on this throughout the day, all right? Because that, that's not gonna work. Because what happens is if you're sipping on the same 25 ounces of water with your ketones in it, then that means that you're not filling it up and you're not getting any more water in your body. So you do have to drink this. And I always say, try to do a minimum of 20 to 32 ounces. You can even raise it up to 40, but you're kind of pushing it there. 25 is usually a good standard. That's a normal shaker bottle or a normal big glass. Try to drink one of these an hour, all right? So if you can get this down in an hour to two hours a day, that means if you start at eight o'clock in the morning, you should already be up to about 60 ounces of water by noon. So that's already half of your water already done and gone. So then all you have to do is continue to do the same thing in the afternoon and try and make sure you're done with your water by seven o'clock, just so that way you're not trying to chug water down and then go to bed and sleep on a full stomach with water and then have to get up all the time to go to the bathroom. So just kind of, you know, revel it that if you can get it down within an hour. And I know most of us, yeah, we get busy. Maybe you have a job where you're just go, 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 you know, but carry your bottle, carry your shaker cup around with you. And then that way, you know it's always there. Take a sip of it. Like right now, take a sip of it. Go get your water, take a sip of it. And then continue on your business. Now, if you're trying to track your water and you don't wanna use an app, you don't wanna write it down, or you start out and you're like, okay, I, I know I did two cups, but am I on three cups or am I on four cups? What I've started doing, is let me introduce you to my jug. All right, so we have these jugs laying around for when we didn't have any water and we had to fill it up, right? And I thought, hmm, what should I do with these jugs? Well, I saw in our Keto Reboot page that someone actually took a, a Sharpie and wrote on here, you know, halfway done, keep going, keep going. So it was also motivation on there. I haven't quite done that yet. Maybe I'll do it this weekend and then share it with you guys. But what's really cool is that you can fill this up you can put it in the refrigerator so you always have nice cold water. And then you can see this is how much I've drinking today. So I'm almost at halfway. I probably have one more glass and I'll be halfway. And it's um, just a little past noon right now. Uh, so you can see I'm already halfway there. So it's really simple just to drink, refill, drink, refill. And what's cool is if you work at like a place that doesn't have a water fountain or doesn't have good water, you have to get it out of the tap. You can fill it up at home with maybe your filtered water and bring it to your work. So that way you know you're getting nice clean water all the time. 
And this is really cool too because you can put it in your refrigerator or you can even fill half of it or a quarter of it up and put it in your freezer and freeze it so there's a block of ice on the bottom and then fill the rest of it up with water and it travels really well. So you always have fresh water. You don't have to worry about stopping at a restaurant or at a gas station and paying a buttload <laughs> for a bottled water, which you know is probably not what it says on the label. But yeah, so this is this is my new my new favorite thing right now is this jug. <laughs> Welcome to the jug. So I probably will do some really cool Sharpie things on here, but make it fun, make it yours, you know, especially if you work somewhere, um, people will be like, hey, what are you doing? Why is your name on that jug? And all these inspirational quotes and lines, you know, and it's a good conversation starter to help people out. You know, especially if you want to start the ketone conversation, it's another great, great way to say, hey, this is what I'm doing because on ketosis, even if you're doing the diet or if you're drinking the ketones, you need to have a lot of water. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. You have to drink your water. I always have people text me and say, my mouth is dry. Is this normal? I feel like a little lightheaded or I feel like I may be having a little of muscle cramps. And I go, you're dehydrated. Now, what you guys may not realize is that by the time you start feeling the symptoms, you know, maybe a little fatigue, maybe your throat's starting to get dry, your mouth starting to get dry, you're already dehydrated. All right, so you're not in the process you're already there. So you need to start chugging that water because you are way behind, all right? So if you do have those symptoms, and even if you're not on the ketogenic diet and not drinking your ketones, and you do get those symptoms, then you know you're dehydrated and you need to start chugging that water, okay? Because we don't want to get to that point because when you get to that point, your body starts to shut down, your brain starts to shut down, you can't function. And I see it a lot, especially in kids. My kids are horrible about drinking water. The only time they drink their water is when I put their ketones in it. Let's just be honest, right? So I do the same thing with them. I fill it up a couple times a day with the ketone flavoring in it so that way they're getting their water. And it's not the full packet, of course, it's just a little bit as they go. And then they do the same thing. I wait till it gets down to a little bit and I fill it up more with more water. But kids, if you're a parent, please make sure your kids are drinking water. You know, I understand you want to send them to school and drink chocolate milk or a juice box or something like that. But I'm telling you, they need water. Water, 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 water. So anyways, that is my little tip on parenting. I add the ketones into it. They're getting super focused for school. They have plenty of energy for after school activities and for homework. And they're getting their water and they think it tastes like jelly beans or they think it tastes like raspberry lemonade. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky, mommy. So yes, so please make sure you go chug your water, whatever works for you. If you'd like to share what works for you or take a picture and put it in the comments below, that is great. Or email them to me and I can put them together and post them on my YouTube channel. And I would really love to have, you know, more input on how everybody gets their water in. So I hope this was helpful. Remember, you can always reach me at any of the channels below, um, any of the links below, and I'm always here to help you with any of your ketogenic diet, your therapeutic ketones, and just a better life general. So you guys have a wonderful day, and thank you again for subscribing, right? Because you went and subscribed, and you better, because I'll find you. <laughs> so hit subscribe. And thank you again for watching this video and I hope to see you soon.